Welcome to Empire Alumni Spotlight. We talk with Empire alumni about where they are, what they're doing, and some of their memories from being here on the Hill. Today, we have Empire alumni, Dr. Whitney Crow. She is a graduate of class of 2011. Dr. Crow, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Tell everyone what you do and how you got to where you are after graduating from Empire. Yeah, so I'm currently a third year family medicine resident. So after I graduated in 2011, I went to OU. I got a four-year degree in biology and then moved to Kansas City for a year where I got my master's in biomedical science. I was then accepted into med school at OU. So I did another four years at OU for med school and then moved to College Station, Texas, um, where I've been living for the past three years to complete my residency in family medicine with an emphasis on surgical obstetrics. What all were you involved in while you were here at Empire? Um, I did just about everything while I was at Empire. I, I played softball. Um, I also played slow pitch. Uh, I was one of the, I think we might have been the first slow pitch team that Empire had. I want to say my junior or senior year. I played basketball two of my four years. Um, I was involved in key club, beta club, Spanish. And then I was also the student council president both my junior and senior year of high school. What would you say is the biggest event that happened while you were a student at Empire? I think this was like the toughest question. I um, I think most of it probably revolved around sports and just winning certain tournaments. So like the boys won um, the state tournament, not sorry, not the state tournament, the county tournament. I wish we would have won state. That would have been awesome. Um, and then the girls basketball made it pretty far in the state tournament when I was in junior high. Um, we also had some fun events while I was there. Um, I actually put on a hypnotist event, and so we got to see a lot of the teachers get hypnotized, which was, I think, pretty pretty entertaining for everyone. What was your favorite class while you were at Empire, and why? Um, I had a lot of favorite classes. Um, I really liked Spanish, and I believe it was my senior year we were actually able to have like put together a Spanish three class. There were only like five of us in the class, and so we were all pretty close, and um, I really enjoyed that class. But I also loved science, obviously. That's what I've basically done the rest of my life, um, and math. I really enjoyed math. Who was a teacher or person at Empire that made the biggest impact on you? Um, there's not just one individual teacher. I was pretty close with a lot of my teachers. I think Mrs. Skiles, we were really close. Um, spent a lot of years with her in Spanish class and with the Spanish club. Um, and then Mrs. Hill, she was great as a math teacher. Um, really enjoyed like Mrs. Johnson. She taught math in junior high. And then she was like my cheerleading sponsor. Um, so I spent a lot of time with her. And then Mrs. Hightower, she came along later on in my high school career, but um, I didn't actually have her as a teacher, but I had her as a cheer sponsor. So I enjoyed a lot of time with her as well. What was your fondest memory at Empire? Hmm. I think senior year was a lot of fun and just doing a lot of the senior activities, like getting to paint the road. Um, but I really enjoyed just all the sports and all the activities that you get to do each year at Empire. Thankfully, going to such a small school, you're not limited on how involved you get to be. Um, so I think I had, I had memories from each year that were uh, great and that I still think about to this day, but I think if you had asked right now, I loved getting to paint the road with my name, um, right before graduation. From your time at Empire, what fashion trend or saying are you glad is no longer popular? <laughs> um, I'm really happy that the girls are no longer like poofing their bangs used to like be where you would flip the bang up and some of them would even put a little hair piece underneath to keep it bumped up. So I'm pretty happy that is gone. What do you think makes Empire stick out from other schools? Um, I think I've already kind of mentioned it a bit. I think the fact that you have these small classes where you can truly get to know your classmates and your teachers, um, that's something I took for granted and didn't realize Um how great that was or how much it, it increased your ability to learn um, until I went to college and, you know, I went to OU. So I had a very large classes. I never had a small class after um, Empire. So the small classes, getting to know everyone and then the ability to do just about everything 
no one says that you have to pick one sport and play it for the rest of your life. You get to do all the sports, be active in all the clubs. And I think that's also something that people often take for granted. Well, thank you, Dr. Crow, class of 2011, for joining us. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching the Empire Alumni Spotlight. Until next time.